Welcome back, everyone. Time for another weekly update of my sub game. Um, the first big change is a bug I have inadvertently introduced by some bad code. The ground now changes super fast as you're standing on it. And it's not supposed to do that. The reason it does that is because grass now changes to uh, shorter grass when you stand on it. And when you go on the shortest of the grasses, they actually disappear and just turn to air. So that code works great. Unfortunately, how it loops through, it checks the node to see if there's something above it. And if there's not, I guess it just keeps looping. I don't know. I have to rewrite that code so this problem goes away. But yes, it works on all the levels of the grass. And let me find some jungle grass here. Have I killed it all in my experimenting and testing out? No! I need jungle grass. Well, jungle grass will turn into grass number five. It looks like I may have eliminated all of that running around testing out the, the grass changing. So yeah, that looks like that's my bad. Um, but jungle grass will change. So that is the first main difference here and of course the fact that dirt is all messed up now second thing I've done I took out the uh, crafting guide because it wasn't working right anyways and instead I just put in unified inventory I made those changes I was talking about to the kindling so if we pull up kindling here kindling You'll see right here, we now have a recipe that uses group wood and group kindling, which is a new group I just made. Uh, sticks are in that, both of your torches, the weak and the bright torch, dried grass, the nesting material. Uh, there's a new material called kindling, which is actually dropped when you dig one of these. So let me just take one of those and pop it right here and dig it up. And you'll see there we get for kindling materials from that. I just haven't made a texture for it yet. Uh, I have to add other things to the kindling group yet. Burnt out torture should be add, added to that. Cotton should be uh, pretty much anything that you would use in real life as kindling to start a fire. Uh, other changes. I have added all of the foods from survival to have thirst values that they regen. So if I were to eat some cooked oysters here, you'll notice I am gaining some of my thirst back. Um, and if I do, oh, let's see here, let's take some raw, or some cooked muscle rather, eat that, that rejuvenates some of my thirst. So those are all giving thirst back. The, actually energy bar, I, I missed code on that one. That one does not affect your thirst yet, but that one will make you thirstier, actually. So that is done. Um, sugar, I think, actually... Yeah, sugar makes you thirsty. Very thirsty. I don't know exactly why you'd want to eat sugar plain, because it's really not that good plain. But you can, and it does make you thirsty. So that change has been effected. I did want to change the berries from the berry bushes, from the more plants, plants lib, whatever it's called. I nowhere can find the code for these berries. I know it's got to be in that mod. And I found the code for the bushes, but I can't find code for drops or for the berries. So currently berries just give you health. And the code's got to exist someplace, I just can't find it. Uh, so you've got that change. You've got, obviously, the bug here. The new kindling group for fires. I think that's about it right now. Um, have not yet recoded in the cooking ability to campfires. That is coming soon though. Uh, some of these textures are just temporary. That's going to change. I do need to yet add support for this. Uh, sandy dirt and there's clayey soil. I want to have something happen when you walk on those. And then uh, desert sand as well. 
right now I think it just has this, yeah, real cheesy square footprint thing it puts on there. Which, I don't know, I don't really care for. So I was going to change that. And that's about it for updates. So, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you next week with some more new updates. And hopefully soon this will be up on GitHub. So you guys can download it, start playing with it, let me know what you like, what you hate, what needs to change, what should never ever be changed because it's 100% perfect exactly how it is. Trust me, that's about 0001%. But uh, yeah, can't wait for you guys to try it out. Catch you next week.